This is my friend Claire Stefani, who's a violist and the president of a wonderful company she's created called Volut. And she, I'm going to let her explain it to you actually, <laughs> everything that she can do to help us. So Volut is in French scroll. So I focus on anything that has to do with string instruments, or in other words, instruments that have a scroll. <laughs> so among other, I help musicians finding the optimizing of their shoulder rest and chin rest setup so that it frees the head, it frees the arms. So I work with various products. I only do diagnostic, I don't sell any product, but I have used products that are more ergonomic than others. And I would like to present four sh chin rests and four shoulder rests. So two chin rests that are really good, that are created by Frisch and Denig, and you can find those on chinrests with an S dot com. Uh, those are really great because as you can see, they allow the no of the head because they have a slightly lower side on the corner of the jaw than on the chin. So that's the reason why I can turn my head, right? So this one would work mostly, if that's the one Carol has. I have this one because I have kind of a more angular and probably for you, Sergio, it would more work better as you can see, it really follow my jawline and I can move my head. And it has a built-in about one, one centimeter higher, all in wood, so for sound it's much better. So those are really great ergonomic models, really exclusively uh, offered by Gary Frisch. Another one, which is in kind of a synthetic plastic, which also have that cut out and which is great for uh, short players that need a center chin rest. So I just show the platform, but basically you can add little lifts here and it's offered by the company called Wittner. It's a German company and this model is called the Augsburg. And finally, a model that is nice because it creates a little hump here and it's also, this is a model that you can find online quite easily, it's called the Hamburg model. And again, if you want to really, if you need more lift, you can go on chinrests.com and find somebody who would fit you with the right height. So that's for chin rests. And for shoulder rest, well, based on what everything that we said, I like to really make sure that this is free. So I never advocate a shoulder rest that would brace over the, sh the shoulder. Instead, I favor chin rests that are wider on this area, just because we have a lot of nerves here and you don't want any pressure around here. So something that mostly will follow the shape of the collarbone, but just will fit under the collarbone. And this one has the beauty of being able to shape to your collarbone. So some people have a very protruding collarbone and it's really great to really be able to shape it. The all good kun, just because it allows a very low height here, therefore a contact with the collarbone. And you can adjust it with a very high fo foot here to really adjust how much tilt you want to really have with the instrument. And finally, two more uh, products. This one is really, really new. It's called the Arcrest. It's a very, very light product. It's on balsa wood and it, you can adjust little pads here directly on the little piece of wood and that piece of wood sits on the back of the instrument and never touch it other than those four little rubber lifts. So in a way it fits also here and it pushes the instrument a little bit away from you without you having the temptation to clench on it. So I felt that this was great invention with a very nice rubber band. for players that really want to really let go of the shoulder rest. Some people like it, some teacher like it. Uh, this company called Belvelin has created, it's a, it's a Swedish company because they use Volvo, Volvo car foam that is used for the seats. So it's a very, very firm foam and you place the, the, the foam here and it's basically, it exists in three sizes and it allows you to really add a little bit of support under the instrument without, again, wanting to really clench on the shoulder. So every support is usually happening around here. 
Finally, I want to speak about the magic pad. So this one is a little nice little whale, but basically you have also a totally black pad, which has the beauty of really sticking on the instrument and it's not glue, it is same as post-it technology and basically stays in place and it plays the role as an, an anti-slip. It pushes a little bit the instrument up and it prevents the varnish to really slide against the shirt and the cotton. So just to summarize, again, Karen Tuttle always used to say, bring the viola to you, have a loving relationship with it. And I think you have to remember many students over the years, if they've gotten a new viola, they come in and they play on the new viola and they can't understand why they're not comfortable. Okay, well the viola is maybe thicker than their previous one. It has a chin rest that was maybe good for someone else. So just don't be afraid to look for what's really comfortable for you and appropriate for your body type, for how you experience balance and leverage when you play and also um, for what suits you with the comfort of your head and your jaw so that you can keep your alignment but move as you need to move.